Today we're going back to the future. Come on, Marty. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious What is this newfangled machine that electrocutes weeds? Is it really effective or does it just make you feel wildly happy? Let's look at how a lightning weeder works. This tool electrocutes weeds. The Annihilator kills weeds instantly by sending a jolt of electricity down the stem, exploding the weed cells from the inside, showing evidence of plant death in minutes. This weed taser requires the use of a tractor with a rear three-point hitch and front three-point hitch. The rear three-point hitch runs a PTO-powered generator, and on the front three-point hitch is mounted a typically 40-foot-wide electrically charged bar. As the bar hits weeds, electricity flows through the weed into the soil, ideally sending the weed to that big farm in the sky. This DeLorean of farm equipment is used almost exclusively in soybeans because the weeds have to be taller than the crop for it to work. And realistically, with crops like corn, if the weeds are taller, you're probably already in trouble. The world is full of possibilities, so this could be used in late season wheat. But keep in mind that you'd be running over your wheat and risk setting the wheat on fire. Some farmers we spoke to run the zapper right after the emergence of green beans to target the grasses, because even knocking them back a little helps. You might be wondering how this beauty moves. And even if you're not, I'm gonna tell you. To start with, this glorious piece of machinery is driven by a 250 to 350 horsepower tractor with front wheel assist and a front three-point hitch. High horsepower is required to run the massive generator, but if you get a model with a narrower front bar, you can get away with a smaller tractor. Instead of 88 miles per hour, this baby will clock in at three and a half to five miles per hour. Some good news is, regardless of most weather, if your tractor can get in the field, this weed zapper will work. And this is the one time when water and electricity mix. The lightning weeder performs best when its victims, the weeds, are succulent because wet things conduct electricity better. So dewy mornings are your best accessory to plant murder. If you remember that juiciness rule, you'll have a good sense of what weeds this is most effective with. For example, water hemp, giant ragweed, jimson weed, and mare's tail. It's not so great on things like foxtail and velvet leaf, whose hairs insulate the plant from the electric current. So, if the weed sounds adorable and snuggly, this is going to fail. And while it may take a few passes, the zapper works okay in terms of roasting volunteer corn. Like any tool, there are a few considerations to keep in mind. Repeat after me. No electric toys without a ground. On this one, there is a culture that runs in the soil to act as the ground. Part support from the company is reported by farmers as good. They call you back in a few hours, free foot massages. Oh, so just the first one? Okay. However, with equipment this specialized and expensive, it often makes sense to custom hire rather than buy. Most farmers won't use it on all acres every season, and it will usually be relegated to problem spots. But one thing to remember about custom hiring, especially depending on the number of farms with similar crops in your area, when you want it, it's likely everyone else wants it too. Now we like big tractors and we cannot lie. But for some farms and growing systems, this is just too big. I mean, that tractor, it's just so big. It's just so... Another constraint and consideration in owning a weed zapper is tractor horsepower. If you're growing in a six row or eight row system, or any way that doesn't require high horsepower equipment, a giant tractor just doesn't make as much sense. And now it's time for the triple F, Fast Farm Financials. A new 40 foot wide model is $88,000. We talked to an experienced farmer who shared that in the first four years, the machine needed $1,500 in parts each year, and in the fifth year, it needed a new generator at $15,000. If you custom hire, your costs can run about $40 to $80 per acre. The price goes up with weed density because look, more weed always makes tasks harder. In this case, more weeds really are harder on the generator, so the tractor runs with a narrower bar, which means it will take longer to get through the field. Another farmer shared these calculations. If a farmer is growing 200 acres of beans, 
and the improved weed control of the zapper increased yield per acre by five bushels, then even in a low $20 per bushel market, the effect of the weed zapper adds up. Five additional bushels per acre at $20 per bushel is an extra $100 an acre. Multiply that by 200 acres of beans, and that's $20,000 that a weed zapper could make you in just one season. And herbicides are also expensive, possibly $15 an acre, which adds up. Whereas when you invest in a weeding tool, you get to use it on the same acreage each season. Plus, cool zapping noises. There are always times when the weeds get out of control, and the lightning weeder can give farmers a super fun way to kill plants that are competing with the crop and prevent those weed seeds from getting into the soil and messing with next season's plantings. Also, sometimes, even if weeds aren't competing with the crop, it's just nice to have clean looking fields. This can be helpful in keeping landlords happy, especially if you're in an area that is not as friendly to organic. Great Scott! Great Scott! Great Scott! Great Scott! Where we're going, you may not need roads, but you may want to zap a path for your main crop. <laughs>